Hello everyone, my name is Atul, Faculty of Physics at Akash Baijus, and I welcome you all to the detailed paper analysis of NSCJS 2022 with my co-teachers. Hello students, my name is Tanya Narang and I am a chemistry faculty at Akash Baijus. As you all know that NSCJS 2022 exam, which was conducted on 27th of November, was a two-hour long exam. Overall, the paper had 60 questions, that is, 20 questions each from physics, chemistry, and biology. Hello everyone, my name is Yadin Madan and I am the faculty of biology here at Akash Baijus. So in this video, we will be analyzing all the questions on three aspects. The first aspect is on the basis of its difficulty. Secondly, on the basis of the classes from which they were asked from. And thirdly, on the basis of the topics. So without further ado, let's begin with physics analysis. Students, there were 20 questions in physics section. So let's first have a look at the difficulty level of physics paper. As you can see, 25% paper was easier side and 50% paper was moderate, 25% paper was difficult. Why I said difficult? Because ये questions class 11th and 12th के chapter से पूछे गए थे। So overall we can say that paper was moderate and as similar as the previous year papers. Now if I talk about class wise distribution, you can see that eight questions were asked from class 9th, seven questions were asked from class 10th, and 25% paper was from class 9th, 10th extensions. Now if we look at the topic wise analysis, you can clearly see that 50% paper was from mechanics. That means 10 questions were asked from mechanics. Ek bada number jo hai, wo mechanics ke portion ko diya gaya. Two questions from wave motion and sound, three questions from optics, and five questions from electricity and magnetism. That's all for physics analysis. Let's move on to the chemistry analysis. Hello students, so let's quickly discuss about the complete analysis of chemistry portion. Now if I have a look at the difficulty level, we observe that almost 45% of the chemistry section was on a difficult note and around 40% of the questions were of moderate level and obviously only 15% questions were of easy level. Now moving on ahead, if I talk about the class-wise distribution of the questions, we can safely say that almost 60% of the paper was extension of 9th and 10th. And apart from this, if I talk about class 9th and 10th, almost 3 questions were asked from class 10th and a significant amount of questions were asked from class 9th. That is, 5 questions were there from class 9th standard. Now moving on ahead, if I talk about the topic wise distribution of the questions, as always, the physical chemistry had more weightage as compared to inorganic and organic. 50% of the paper came from physical chemistry, followed by 7 questions from inorganic and 3 questions from organic. If I talk about physical chemistry, there were questions based on mole concept and stoichiometry which were a bit calculative also apart from this questions came from solutions ionic equilibrium there was a question on effusion also and one question from structure of atom moving on to inorganic chemistry there were some questions from coordination chemistry and apart from this there were questions from periodic classification and metallurgy Last but not the least, three questions were there from organic chemistry. One question came from the allylic brumination and some moderate question was there on unsaturation number also. So overall, if I want to conclude, how was the paper of chemistry in NACGS 2022? I would say it was ranging from moderate to difficult level and students must have found it a bit challenging. Well, that's all for my side. Thank you for watching. 
So as you all know that there were 20 questions in the biology section. So we will be analyzing those 20 questions on the basis of its difficulty level first. We will see how many questions were easy, how many medium, how many difficult. थे. So as you can see on your screen that 50% of the questions were easy. 30% of the questions were medium and only 20% of the questions were difficult. So we can conclude from this that biology section was from easy going towards medium range. Okay, so easy to medium, easy to moderate range mein our biology section tha. Why I am saying so? Because jo difficult questions we the, they were from the concepts of class 9th and 10th and they were ranging towards 11th and 12th. So now let's analyze the 20 questions on the basis of the classes from which they were asked from. Kya question 9th se zyada thai ya 10th se zyada thai ya 11th ya 12th. So 80% of the questions were from 9th and 10th, 40 each. So we have 80% 9th, 10th se aage. 20% question are extended topics. So this was an analysis on the basis of the classes. So majority of the questions were from 9th and 10th. You can see it on your screen. So the third analysis is on the basis of the topics from which they were asked. So we have made all major topics the, unki four units. So first unit which we had maximum questions came the world of living. 50% of the paper in the biology section was from this unit. We have 4 chapters. One is how do organisms reproduce, control and coordination, life process. These are our 10th ke kuch chapters. Hai. 11, 12th ki baat kare. Toh, movement and locomotion, aata hai. plant physiology. Aata hai. 10 questions in this section, in this unit. Mein se the. अगर हम बात करें सेकंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिट की वो थी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड जिसमें हमारे 30% क्वेश्चन थे 6 क्वेश्चन इस यूनिट में से थे और अगर हम दो छोटी यूनिट्स की बात करें तो नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड जेनेटिक्स दीस वर द स्मॉल यूनिट जिसमें से दो-दो क्वेश्चन आए थे मतलब 10% 10% क्वेश्चंस ईच फ्रॉम दीस टू यूनिट्स सो दिस वाज द बायोलॉजी एनालिसिस थैंक यू So after all the analysis and feedback from our students, we have concluded that even if the chemistry portion was on a bit difficult side, but it was pretty balanced with the moderate level of physics and easy level of biology. Yes ma'am. So what can we conclude? So overall I should say that the paper was pretty balanced and if I need to conclude, it ranged from moderate to difficult level. Well, that's all for today and for more such updates, follow Akash Baijus. Thank you for watching and all the best for your exam.